Hello, one and all, and welcome back to Pardon Plays, The Binding of Isaac. We are in the midst of knocking out some challenges. Uh, solar system, I hate you. So we're gonna go with Cat Got Your Tongue for this round. I think this one starts you off with Guppy. But, oh, but I think you have to, you have to swing this thing. That's like your only source of power. Oh shit. So, get with these usually. So you don't know what, see I keep saying not to press these buttons and then here I am pressing these buttons. Okay, so you gotta swing this thing and then hope that it hits whatever it is you're trying to hit. So, the only way we're gonna beat this thing, to be honest with you, is if we find some sort of familiar or like a baby that shoots. So like rotten baby, anything that shoots flies. And that's the thing with this thing though, is that the bigger it gets, the more swing we get, you know. And I believe there's a song that explicitly states that it does not in fact mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. I think for this uh, challenge that that we're gonna have to hold true to that. So since the last episode, I've watched two more episodes of Manifest, and I knew and I know that I said that I was not gonna turn this into a Manifest uh, series. So, you know, we're, we're trying to talk about the Binding of Isaac, but I lied because this show literally has me in a chokehold. So if you don't know what Manifest is, it's a, I think it was an ABC show and then ABC gave up on it like they do most of their shows that aren't Grey's Anatomy and then it became a Netflix show. But in this show, it's basically about this, uh, the, this flight, A28, that goes, that comes from Jamaica. Um, and when they leave, it's 2013 and when they land, it's 2018. I think like five and a half years have passed. And so the, the the passengers are trying to figure out what happened to them, where they've been. You know, and it's a lot of, you know, a lot of people's families have moved on. People have gotten remarried. This next has been almost six Justice. years. You know, um, there were 100 and I think 90 passengers on the flight. And so, now, but then when they come back, passengers start to have these things called callings that like direct them to do things or act in certain ways or you know and it ends up like you know they can save lives and so the question oh I forgot or you know we can use bombs ooh another okay alright so this is solar system again fuck my life but yeah, anyway, they get into all these things, and of course, you know, the government is scared of them because they don't understand them, and so, you know, and it basically revolves around this family called the Stone Family, and you know, it's kind of weird because, you know, they have twins, and of course, one twin went with the dad on the flight, and the other one didn't, so, now, then you had one twin that was, uh, you know, still, I think, 11 or 12, and this other one is like 17, you know, so it's like, you know, what, what, what do you do? You know, they're trying to figure out, figure out, you know, how do we navigate our lives? How do we move on? You know, do I give up the, you know, the boyfriend I have now or a husband who's returned? And it is it, it, it a messy show. And so, of course, the show starts off about the messy and then it goes from it goes from like messy drama to like just supernatural craziness. And I'm here for it. Cuban meat is good because it gives us you know, more options, uh, more options as far as, you know, how we're going to attack. And on top of that, you got this woman that she was a detective and then she got a DUI. She killed her friend. And then right after that, she went to Jamaica and she she had a she had a uh, fiance. 
or a guy that she was thinking about marrying, but she never said yes or no. So after five years, of course, the guy, you know, marries her best friend. But then her and the dude start messing around because they can't, you know, escape the feelings for each other and blood. It's a it's it's a problematic show, I can tell you that. But then as the seasons go go on, you find out that, you know, there are other people who have who've been getting the callings and who have been who have disappeared who were not on the plane one guy was in a cave one drove into the water because he was trying to rob a bank another one tried to kidnap one of the kids and then they were submerged in a lake for three days just to come back you know so the question becomes you know who you know how are they choosing who comes back why they come back all that stuff so yeah, manifest. It's a uh, four seasons in. Uh, I hope it's not ending anytime soon, because that's another thing with me. I am good for like getting into a show, and they're like, "This show is over." I'm like, there was only five seasons. Like, we don't care. It's done. So I really hope it's not the case with that, because, and you know, manifest is kind of one of those shows that I remember a lot of people talking about, and I just never watched it. And then now that I have, it's like, well, not, no, we're not doing that. Um, now that I have, it's like, man, I should have been watching this so long ago. Oh, we have to do it though. Cause what if one of these key, all right, nope. Oh, come on. Come man. And no key because you know, cause fuck me. That's why. Um, Yeah, no, it's a it's a great show. I'm actually really surprised that they've been able to you know, keep it going for so long. But, you know, four years isn't really that long for a show, but when you look at stuff that's getting canceled left and right, you know, four years is pretty good. See, so, yeah, I don't know if you guys have never seen it, but I'm watching it right now, and I'm. I'm loving it. And every every episode, there's my, 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 my poor friend Mike. Man, he must get tired of me because he's seen it. And every time, every time I'm shocked, I text him, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" And like, I feel like an hour later, I'm texting him again, like, "What the fuck?" And all he'll tell me back is, "Oh, it gets better." And I'm like, "You motherfucker." Um. So I can't get rid of that because otherwise I won't have anything. But. Oh, you sneaky bastards. Of course, you're not, of course, you're not going to let me use mom's knife. What was I thinking? I wish I would have wish I would have known that before I used it, you know? No, of course, they're not going to let me use mom's knife. Like you tried it though. Yeah. Alright, so what does that mean? This means with matchstick, we can officially probably call this a bomb only run. At least at least at least as far as like bosses are concerned. Like Guppy's hairball is pretty powerful. But I don't, I wouldn't, I, I never, I've never used it. I don't think I've ever used it outside of this uh, challenge when I've played other files. If anything, I just use it to uh, to get, to get guppy. The game's trying to offer us more lucrative opportunities. But I killed two shit birds with one stone there. Oh, 
Okay. All right. And that, of course, uh, Ansu's. Might as well show me everything. I kind of already knew where that was. Hey, guys, we'll take it. We find a room that has a bunch of like soul hearts in it and we can get that never ever and fucking ever. Do you hear me? I don't know if you guys know, but I have a personal distaste for cursed eye and that and it, it can't do anything. Uh, you know what? It can't hurt us though. No, because what? You know, what? no, we're not doing it. Sort to God, cursed eye is going to be the last item that I get. I'm going to spend all of my time trying to get cursed eye. Let's go see if our curse room is any good. Oh yeah, and if you think, you know, like in that show, like, okay, disappearing once is good? No. Motherfuckers disappear multiple times. And motherfuckers disappeared in season one. And here they are back again in season four. But they don't remember where they've been the last two years. Or another motherfucker disappears when he's like 12 and comes back and he's 17. Of course, no one knows why. That game has made, or that game, Lord, that show has made a literal chokehold. Yara rune? I don't know. Zip through here, oh, son of a bitch. I said you thought you were gonna zip through here. Look, huh? Oh, come on. Of course, it's Krampus. You can't beat a little bit of offense every room. That's what we should have said our Yara room for. But you know what? I'm glad I, I'm glad I came, you know. 
you know what they say, you know, the sun goes down, the lights come out. You know, all that counts is here and now. I don't remember the name of those, those guys, but that song is definitely called I'm Glad, I'm Glad You Came. It's funny, if I was broke, I would probably would find my shop. Shop would be the room next to me if I had no money. Of course, in true Isaac fashion, since I have money. I want keys? No. What is going on? Just in case it's something, something in here. Active items cannot be charged twice. Sure. Sure. God, you're really playing the no key game with me. I hate this game. Boy, you got me out here begging like key sweat for some keys. fly I'm, I'm done with this I'm trying to save as many bombs as I could but you know what screw it power I feel like anything from there is gonna net me any keys no I don't that's a damn shame too but we're only two floors away so that's fine sweet just because I know we're gonna get hit anyway so we might as well try to get something out of it oh I hate this it's like give a penny take a penny you know what I mean like or take a penny leave a penny I think that's what it is but yeah basically you know you're gonna get hit at least once a room probably so try to do something to mitigate that of course, you got a jumper. Yeah, I, was, I was sure that guy was going to get one hit off on me. Alright, no. I, uh, but I need... No, but I can't because... It's not, whatever that is, is not worth the two or three hearts I'm going to take in damage alone trying to survive that room with just this. Alright. Golly, thank you. Thank you. Guess the gang got tired of beating my cheeks. I'm glad this only goes to mom's foot because I can't I can't see how they would why they why anyone would make this last longer than that. Oh son of a bitch. Okay, that one was on me. Thank you. A okay, well placed bomb can turn the no, not to you. A well-placed bomb can be the be the 
difference between life and death, you know what I mean? take that. I'll take all of these, bro. A <laughs> word to the immortal TLC. I am not too proud to beg. So like this, the spinning motion that I'm doing on this joystick can't imagine. Let me out. Thank you. Can't imagine how anyone would do this on mouse and keyboard. I'd say the only thing is probably saving us for this whole what makes you larger much larger oh oh it doesn't affect this hitbox I don't think that's true I mean they're saying it so I guess you kind of have to believe it but I don't think that's true of course how do you get protected from bombs you Put me against an enemy that teleports. That's how you that's how you protect them from bombs. Got him. Right, there we go. Oh, I can't even very right, good. I feel like that was, that was like going window shopping, you know what I mean? I can't, I know I can't buy anything. All right, last floor, let's do it. All right, um, don't know if I really want to, oh, okay. Huh. One good this does is this. I don't know why I got so hyped. Now kind of gives us an excuse to do this. Got a big shout out Cuba meat. Never mind. Big shout. Also, big shout out Gimpy. All right. If you if you get at least what am I gonna do? Uh, uh, right, okay, so here's what we'll do with that. We'll see what our health looks like at the end. I'm telling you, if I could shoot. My tier speed would be just dumb if I could shoot. That's why they did that. So let's see what our shop has. Job flies, putting in work. Thank you. <laughs> ah, you tried it. At this point, I don't, I don't sell for anything.
Hmm. Of course, greed, because why not greed, alright? Alright. So what I think we're gonna do, and I think where I think the smart money is, is going back, getting Guppy's paw, and turning as many of our hearts into soul hearts as we can to give us a fighting chance for the swinging thing against mom trying to lull me into like a false sense of security like no you don't have to give up your red heart see we'll give you hearts no bitch the battery thing too which is helping but you know what we're just gonna we're just gonna switch it because now that i'm thinking about it we can't it's the last room so you're not going to be able to make any more heart any more flies in the room however we will be able to make more hearts if we need to And this way, we don't have to, like, you know, just drop all of our hearts willy-nilly and wait and see if that's something we're actually going to need to do before we do it. Nope. No, oh, that was a waste of three bombs. Right, let's get it. how you do it all right thank you guys very much for oh alges it's like a book of shadows on crack i like it i uh, thank you guys very much for watching the episode uh be sure to hit that like follow subscribe for more and we'll see you next time ciao ciao